right here is everything you need to make a biomass brick press this is a standard caulk gun I think this was $1.97 at the hardware store a hacksaw from the dollar store large hose clamps actually it's a six pack of mixed hose clamps but we need the large ones for this project and a piece of PVC pipe from the um, hardware store I think this was four dollars or less and I'm going to make a biomass brick press using these parts here now it's the large hose clamps we need from here you can buy individual hose clamps if you'd like this was a dollar it's perfect the idea here is to have one hose clamp that will fit the PVC pipe. Now this is one and a half inch PVC pipe which happens to fit perfectly inside your caulk gun. You want, If you see here it slips right inside the caulk gun perfectly. It's a nice perfect fit. So what I'm going to do now is mark this so that I can uh, cut it to fit inside here. Now the best way to do this is to take a permanent marker. Easiest way to do this, you probably can't see me, I'm just going to hold the permanent marker here and spin this pipe. Perfect round marking on the pipe. Now I'm cutting it just a little bit smaller. So I can get it in and out easily. Generally, you don't usually cut indoors, but since I don't have much choice right now, this is what I will do. You just want to cut this pipe right along your lines. not perfect it's crudely cut but here we have perfectly fitting a nice fitting tube for the caulk gun and it goes right through no problems so there is the basis for our bio briquette press you just need a straight edge of some kind and I'm going to draw a line with my permanent marker. I want to go roughly about three quarters of the way through this pipe. And what I'm making now is some lines. I want to go roughly divide this in thirds, just roughly. be there. No, oh, this one I want here. Okay. And this is going to give relief grooves for the water to escape through when we start to press the biomass material. I had to get a larger saw because I actually want a thicker cut on my PVC pipe. 
the hacksaw I was using was too small so we actually want a groove here, a visible groove for the water to squeeze out through when we press it together later. So trying to hold this in front of the camera is not going to work so I'll finish it off the camera and cut this and I'll be back in a minute. Well there are, I have the slits cut in here. There are now six slits cut into this so that the water can squish out through the slits in the pipe. Now, one thing I forgot to mention is you need some washers. We'll come back to these later. For now, to set this up, what you do is you take your hose clamp and you put it on the end here. And you want to basically just get it so it loosely fits on the uncut edge. And this only has to be done once. All this is going to do is prevent your PVC pipe from spreading out on the cut edges later on when you're pressing your material. Now that just it fits snugly here and that one's ready. You can slip that off and put it aside. I'm going to use two for strength. Again, just get it so it just slips down there. And you can slide it on and off. You don't want it tight, you just want it lightly snug. So what you'll have is you'll have one here and one here, and when you load it up with your biomass material, you'll slide this on, have these here and here, and when you run your press, that'll prevent the pipe from expanding too far, and the water will be allowed to gush out through the slits that you've cut here. And there's your biomass press ready to go. And I'll demonstrate how this works once I have the biomass material prepared.